Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 13th, 2019. So we have a nasty scenario setting up this morning. Doggone it. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of folks that are going to get a little bit punished today. Um, you know, one of the things we do as traders is we try to anticipate or pick uh, bottoms. We always want to try and get the perfect price. And then there are those with that fear of missing out. When it starts to rally, we rush in um, thinking that this is the end. And it has to be the bottom because we see this nice bullish candle here. Well, this morning, the market is reversing that. And that's one of the dangers of a long weekend or just a, this isn't wasn't a long weekend, but a weekend when we're very volatile in the market. And right now we're looking at a gap down here. So anyone that chased into that Friday afternoon or anyone, you know, trying to, you know, catch that perfect entry is going to feel some pain this morning and doggone it that's just one of those things that happens uh, particularly in a volatile market and around weekends like this that we can get those ugly reversals into the weekend it's one of the reasons that i tend to uh, lighten up my accounts heading into the weekend and um, one of the reasons i don't normally add too many positions into the weekend because of that kind of a move so pretty darn nasty to see that happen and a lot of folks are going to be feeling some pain this morning and I sure hate to see that but it's it's one of those reminders that the market is going to do what it wants to do no matter what we see in a chart one of the things that that I think is is occurring here is the, one of the reasons for this gap down is the anticipation of punishment. Um, we've heard all along, and we've even seen an apology that uh, from China. They're very, they very much regret that they're going to have to retaliate. <laughs> and so far to this point, we have not received that retaliation um, of the tariffs. And it's that anticipation. It's like being sent to the sent to your room when you was when you were a kid after acting up and to wait for your punishment. And you would draw all of these unbelievable scenarios. Oh my gosh, this is this could be the worst thing ever, you know. And we build these things up in our head and that's what the market is suffering from this morning. We have all weekend been pondering and given plenty of time to speculate. The news has just put out all kinds of reports. Oh, this could happen and this could happen. And that's made the market very very nervous and that anticipation is creating kind of an ugly scenario this morning so be careful of that gap down one thing you don't want to do is chase that gap down thinking this is a reason to short we have a cut we have a confirmation here twice really good strong bottom being held here kind of uh, what we call a tweezer bottom being held here and um, this gap down this morning uh, could easily find buyers so be careful not to chase uh, this short we're already well short now let me give you a quick example um the place the time to short a market like this would be after the decline we wait for the rally back up and then we look to enter that short trade after we rally into re a resistance and get a failure pattern and so far that's not occurred and nothing that i would want to chase into at all so let's take a look um, um, at the at the chart. What does what is the chart showing us for potential? Well, first off, we certainly have a nice level of support here. We want to pay attention to that nice level of support. And if if we push down in here, we could watch for a potential bounce. Of course, if that doesn't happen, if sellers take over and we drop through this area, expect an awful lot of stop losses to be below this area, and we could get that very quick selling uh, to come into play if that were the case. If we do begin to rally, let's keep in mind that we have resistance levels right here that we're going to want to pay attention to in the chart as we rally back up trying to uh, 
recapture some gains. So watch those important levels. They're, they're going to be pretty important to us if we begin to rally. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, much of the same situation. Beautiful rally. Now, this is not the tweezer bottom. We actually made a new low, and that kind of opens the door for, um, you know, the potential of more selling. But right in here is about where we're going to open, down below both of those candles and below this level of support. And I think that's going to be critical this morning if we see some more sellers coming in. Keep in mind, markets really like to have that... Um, have a defined area for support so if even though we have this nice tail here we could easily see um, selling coming right down into this support level before we actually get a bounce watch that carefully if we do happen to hold here and rally back up we're going to have to watch these resistance levels in the chart and be very focused on those as we rally back toward those for that potential of a failure also up into here So keep that in mind as you're kind of trying to decide what you're going to do today um, and um, watching these markets move around. Let's uh, actually I want to move that down just a little bit. <clears throat> let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the NASDAQ here real quick. NASDAQ, um, nice little hammer pattern. Um, but remember, a hammer is not a hammer unless we get a follow through. And so far this morning, uh, that's not the case. As a matter of fact, we're dropping down below this level of support this morning. Not a good sign unless we can come right back up. If we happen to see those sellers, don't be too surprised that we come clear down into here, catching that support. So watch that close. If we do happen to get a bounce, we're going to have to worry about this level of resistance and this level of resistance as we start moving back up and watching for those potential failures. And if we move all the way back up into here, we can still put in that higher low in the market and still see that failure. So watch watch closely. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, another tweezer bottom holding up in there well, but now we're getting that nasty gap down, coming right back down in here to test this level of support. We're right there at that the support uh, this morning at the open. We should be right, right about there. If we happen to slip through that, um, there's a big open space here for potential selling. Um, to the downside so we'll have to watch IWM closely if it does fail this level any rally back of course we're gonna watch up in here this is a um, substantial resistance as a matter of fact that resistance carries back here quite a ways notice how far that resistance carries back here a really strong resistance level so we'll want to watch that closely if we begin to rally higher let's take a look at the VIX really quick that VIX Doggone it. Um, remember when I said the worst case scenario, I believed where we really could get fear in the market is if we rallied above and held this level of support. I'm guessing that this morning we're going to see the VIX on the rise. Um, so if the VIX rallies from here, holding this level of support. That's where real, real fear can really start to begin to roll into the market. And we've seen that before back in here where we get that hold right in this level and then fear really shoots up. Now, hopefully that doesn't occur, but if we get um, any more selling today, if the gap down isn't the end, if we, if we see buyers stepping in after the gap down, we could be in pretty good shape but if sellers jump on and really start pushing the market lower watch that fear spike and we could see spikes all the way up into here pretty easily so um, that could turn ugly pretty fast let's take a look at um, t2122 t2122 could be um, helpful to us a, a, a little bit 
This gap down today is going to move us back down pretty substantially, I'm guessing. But let's keep in mind, we rallied so much on Friday. We've put ourselves right back into a situation where we've opened a big door to the downside. We also have a big opening to the upside. So we'll have to watch that close. Now, the gap down this morning, I'm guessing, is going to move us closer down into here. And we never did quite reach that uh, bullish reversal zone down here. So it could be this rally back is going to push us all the way down into here so we can catch that really truly oversold condition and rally back up. We'll have to watch that selling close this morning. If, if the sellers pile on, we could easily see us moving right down into here pretty quickly um, and based on how the futures are forming up this morning. Right now, as I'm recording this, futures are now pointing to a 350 point decline um, at the open. So pretty painful open and it looks like we're continuing to fall at the moment. So this could be pretty ugly by the time we reach open and um, pretty darn painful for a lot of folks who jumped heavy into the market on Friday. Let's take a quick look at our economic calendar nothing here on the economic calendar to really get us uh, cranked up and excited. As you can see, we've got a couple of Fed speakers and a couple of bond auctions, and that's all that we have on our calendar today. So pretty light on the economic calendar. Unlikely that's going to have much of any effect at all on the day. And then we have about 175 companies reporting today, but a lot of them are the really, really small type penny penny stock type companies. There are a few um, important ones out there to pay attention to, but um, not a whole lot of real notable earnings this morning to pay attention to. We have um, just a few um, to think about. Let's see, Dave. Dave is reporting today. Again, famous Dave's uh, kind of one of those little smaller companies uh, waiting for that one to report. Uh, TTWO. TTWO is supposed to report this morning. Looks like it might be moving lower this morning. Maybe it's already reported. So just things like that to, to pay attention to. And nothing. Um, uh, I wouldn't say there's the, the big report out there that could really move us today. So um, it's going to be more the anticipation of what comes next that's really going to affect the market. So we'll want to watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I want to thank you to just a huge thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave a comment, clicking those thumbs up buttons. You are responsible for the growth. Um, I can't make the, the channel grow. I can try to provide the best content I can uh, to help traders, and that's really the goal here is traders helping traders um, with some real honest information without all the hype. If you find this useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. And also, please sh feel free to share this video with any friends, family, whoever, put it out there on your Facebook feed, your Twitter, uh, Twitter account, um, whatever social media you use. I truly appreciate that as well. The more people that we can help with this information, preparing for the day, um, being ready for what the market might toss at us. Um, you know, it just, I think it just um, gives us the ability to, to see a better market with, with more people kind of understanding how to plan and uh, protect themselves um, in the market. So thank you very much for those of you who do that. I appreciate it a ton. Let's uh, take a look at a few stocks that really could be setting up, but this morning's going to have a pretty ugly uh, possible reversal in here. So we'll have to watch this closely. Some of these stocks may not be as good uh, this morning as um, as they show currently in the chart. And remember, any chart that I show you for a potential trade is not a recommendation to buy. It is merely um, uh, that a chart for your watch list, one for evaluation. So you guys know that I've been mentioning PepsiCo quite a bit. PepsiCo having this nice little pattern in here. Had a beautiful move on Friday. Now it looks like it's gonna open a little bit lower this morning. 
This is a beautiful trend. And this is one of those defensive sector stocks. If the market's a little bit nervous and worried, uh, folks might be running to some of these defensive sectors. Might want to keep an eye on PepsiCo. Beautiful beautiful setup for a chart also coca-cola had a really nice response back now this has got a little more work to do if you ask me um, rallied strongly um, right back to a kind of a resistance area this would need to consolidate maybe here a little bit or give me an inside day or something before i could really um, jump into that but nice looking chart again defensive sector take a look at mdlz defensive sector stock Popping up strongly. Looks like, um, well, it's hard to, hard to say where that's going to open. Looks like it's going to open about where it closed. MDLZ holding in there nicely, looking very, very good. And a beautiful price pattern there on Friday for a potential upside move. Got to gotta like that one. Um, also, Procter & Gamble, big response back on Friday. Big rally up here. Now, this has resistance to deal with above. So I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say this was quite ready yet unless you've already entered this position. And, and you can see it looks to open about where it closed closed could see some selling coming in here today so we'll want to watch that uh, pretty darn carefully um, I still think LMT is a beautiful chart and I've mentioned this all last week as a potential trade and you can see moving up nicely now it looks like it's going to get a gap down this morning it looks like it could be a little bit punished today but that could as long as it doesn't break down a trend or something like that it could set up an opportunity for that lower risk entry so there's a few stocks for you to kind of keep in mind and take a look at there are others out there to maybe watch like uh, general electric general uh general electric after breaking its downtrend had a nice little hammer pattern here on friday reacting to um some price support and reacting to that trend it would require some follow through to move up and with our trend kind of showing right here at the moment we could easily see that consolidation still yet over toward that trend before before there's any any love coming in here on GE so watch that close so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day um, remember not every day is a day that you have to trade when the market is handing you lots and lots of volatility if you're not comfortable with that if you're new to this if um, you are um, struggling as a trader markets like this are a good reason for you to just be standing aside maybe doing some practicing um that kind of thing in a paper trade account but to avoid the risk of these kind of big potential swings remember this market could reverse on a dime i mean in half a heartbeat this thing could turn around um, and go and and fly either direction based on just one news report um it, it's a very news driven market we we could have another tweet that sends us in another direction who knows so very emotional market right now and remember you don't have to trade this you can stand aside protect your capital remember a big part of being successful in trading is knowing when to protect that capital not to give it back to the market it. So if that's one of these times for you, you know, don't, there's no shame. There's no shame in standing aside and not being in here fighting um, a market that, um, well, let's face it, it's going to be very, very challenging um, for a little while. So watch that close. With that, everyone, have an awesome day. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.